Yo, what's up guys, Nandra here, and welcome to another video. This is going to be Intro to Building Sword. Now, <laughs> I've mean to do this video for a while because I have, because I think the majority of my sword, of my friends are sword mains, I think. And I do know that some of you guys have been struggling a little bit. We're trying to find a build that works for you guys, so we're just going to dive right into it. Now, as you know, I'm primarily uh, a mid-range and control player. I don't really play aggro that much. So as a result, this deck is going to be probably control based in, control based in nature. So off the bat, I should probably get this out of the way. It's important that when you build that you don't just like automatically just like throw in like things they like, things that you perceive to be automatically staples just because if you do then you then you run the risk of then you run then, then, then you run the risk of missing out on other cards by accident however I, because I, because I know that I want this deck to be control deck I already I already have a general idea of what, of what I want of what I want to put in so I'm just gonna start off with, with the removal package of three three wholesale swing three shield to flame now these these are really good just because they're really good anti aggro tools, and sword because they don't have because they don't have because they don't have much in the way like much in the way of healing. You have you have to try to you have to try to be you have, you have to try to preserve your preserve your HP total as much as possible. Uh, I'm just gonna go back and forth on, on a lot of these cards so, so this video could, could be at least about a half hour maybe more i really like jeno so 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 go ahead and throw in through jeno like jeno jeno is one jeno used to be like the doctor four in the game because you used to know that <laughs> that if you that if you're going if you're going second yeah, that if, if, if you were going second, that that, that whatever that whatever three drop you played, that Jenna was just gonna clear it, and then and then your opponent would get to keep their board, and you were just gonna feel super salty about it. Hmm. The five drops are gonna be kind of tricky, just because there are a lot of five drops in Sword. They're actually really, they're actually really good, and, and all and all kind of merit and all kind of warrant their use. However. You can only have so many five drops just because you don't want to. You, you really don't want to break that much. So I'm gonna toss in three Albert just because three Albert is pretty core and any sword deck you make just because he's he's good on five. He's he, and he's good on nine. I'm also gonna add in three Luminous Mage just because I really like having I really like have, having Eva advantage whenever possible. Mm. I'm gonna add in at least one front guard for now, and I'll, I'll just decide if I want to add in more later. Okay. So this is what I so this is what I would probably call like the core right now. There's a few things that were that were, are missing, like for example, two drops and whatnot. But, but we can go ahead and and kind of pick and choose how how we how we include those in the deck. I uh, also want to go ahead and throw in two Roland. I think you could probably do one Roland, and that'd probably be fine. However, I think I want to do two, just because, and you'll see later, it it's it, it's gonna it's gonna be a kind of it's gonna be kind of core piece because with Roland, it ma it makes all of your guys that are above five HP a lot stickier. Like I've had games in which I. <laughs> In which, in which is like, in which is like very, very hard for my opponent to kill stuff like my front guard general and shit like that, just because like the roll, just because like just because the roll and like block like some, block so much HP. Okay, so we're also gonna add in two here of antiquity. Here of antiquity is really nice because he's he's a good rush target, and he's all he's also he's also a really difficult a really difficult card to clear. I'm also gonna I'm also gonna add, add in probably three Saha or uh, probably triple Saha triple Lucy. Just because I just because I want to see them, and now b because I have so much late game, we're, we're gonna go back to the early game, and we're just gonna try to f try to flesh out that. Again, all, all of this all of this is subject to change, and, and this could be a longer video as a result. 
just because I just because I'm I'm literally making all of this from scratch right now. So I think I'd probably want to have the double Unica. And then bladed hedgehog. We're gonna we're gonna obviously get cut down on a lot of these cards. Like for example, we most likely will not be doing. Well, we we will not most likely be doing triple Saha Lucy. So, so we'll go, so we'll go ahead and, and cut a Lucy right now. Our three drops are also looking kind of anemic, so we're gonna so we're gonna go ahead and, and fix that a little bit as well. Now for three drops, generally in Sword, you you obviously have one for Grimner just because Grimner is really core in a lot of decks, especially Sword because he, he gives you some extra reach. However, when it comes to three drops, you can choose between either Ogre between Blitz between Blitz Lancer, Young Ogre Hunter Momo, or Novice Trooper. Each 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 of these three do different things. Like Young Ogre Hunter is good is good for is good for if you're versus Dragon. It's also good if you're versus Actually, it's 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 mainly just good for for if you're versus Dragon. Blitz Lancer is Blitz Lancer is is a pure is a pure versus is a pure versus the opposing two 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 three stat line minions. It's also really nice because it can pick off minions at five HP. It, 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 it can pick off minions that evoed at five HP that, that clears something else on your board. So I'll probably end up going with Blitz Lancer that for this one. Novice Trooper is good, but Novice Trooper is 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 good in the matchups where you need to be more aggressive. So, like for example, if you go like versus Haven. However, I don't expect to face that much Haven when I'm while I'm like playing with this deck. So, okay. So we've added a bit to our to, to our to, uh, to our three drops. For your four drops, it kind of it kind of gets kind of weird because you. Because sword, because sword as a, because sword as a whole, part of the reason why it's kind of difficult to build with that times is because you have so many get cards, so so many get cards. Okay, and as a result, I okay. So, so, so you can go, so you can go with with one of three, with one of three or four different things here for your for your four drops. You can either take Amelia, Silver Paladin. I like I like Amelia. Yeah, I like Amelia a lot because she helps you deal with boards that are already congested, uh, that are already co congest congested, and they have to like deal and you have to like you, you need to like find a way to to try to like break it up a little bit. However, I also, however, I do I do think that Amelia is a package deal, and if you play Amelia, they they have to be playing Monica, and in this list, I'm not yet playing Monica. However, that might swap, and I and I might I might choose it, and I might choose to include Monica. Mm, okay, actually, actually, we're we're just gonna go ahead and and, and go and go down to one Lumi, and go down to either one or two Lumi Mage to include two Monica and then two and then two Amelia. I have an animated Monica, don't I? Yeah, okay, yeah, I do. Cool. And the reason why I've chosen to, I've chosen to do it this way is because it's because right now you, you need as many as many swing card evos as you can get. Additionally, as sword sword, you can only you can only usually clear off one thing at a time. So I do think that Monica is actually really really good right now. And then lastly, we're at our fortieth card now. Generally, for your fortieth card, you can you have you have a few different options. You can make it. You can make it. You can make it a card for fun. You can make it a card to answer. You can use a card to answer a, 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 a specific matchup, like a tech choice, or you can use it as a as an option for maybe something you want to test out. Now, for this last option, what I'm going to do, particularly, part, particularly just because I just because I like having a lot of evos, is I'm going to make my 40th card Olivia. Now, Olivia is really nice for those games where you. 
where you make it we make it to like turn nine and, and like neither you nor your opponent is dead and you just need your evos to like reactivate your stuff like your monicas or your t, uh, to reactivate your, your monica basically your, sorry your monica or, or your or your like amelia's when you get them or or, you, or even say your front guards it's just, or and even your lucy's so it's really nice for that additionally other options would be alexander you could even do a one of Bahamut if you wanted. However, I don't really like Bahamut in, in decks outside of Dragon, just because I feel like I feel like Dragon runs it because well, one because it's 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 the best board clear in the game, arguably, and two because because a lot of the dragons, a lot of the cards that the Dragon could play kind of suck. But but that's not really the case for for their classes. But anyway, I think this is gonna be the finished list, and I am I am going to be playing some games some games with this uh, some games with this list later. So be on the lookout for that. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed. Go ahead and leave a like if you did. Go ahead and let me know. Go ahead and let me know what you think about sword. Do you, do you have do you have any fun decks for sword and whatnot down in the comments below. And I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.